Welcome everybody to my newest Let's Play, Blaster Master from Sunsoft for the Nintendo Entertainment System. So we'll get a little bit of an intro of what uh, the story is here. Uh, that frog is named Fred and that uh, his owner is Jason. And uh, Fred escapes his little pen. He jumps on this radioactive box. I don't know why Jason has it in his backyard, but for some reason he does. And Fred mutates into a big giant frog, jumps down this tunnel, and takes off. And uh, Jason finds this tank, Sophia the Third, and a suit that'll allow him to pilot the tank. So, yeah, it doesn't make much sense, but uh, in the Japanese version, it's a different story. Uh, Sophia the Third is the planet that this takes place on, uh, and the Western version is Earth. And basically, uh, in that one, you're basically just uh, piling the metal attacker, is what the tank is called, and you're basically uh, fighting this mutant race that's uh, invading the planet, Sophia III. But they changed it over here for the Western audience. Don't know why, but we'll uh, we'll just roll with what we got. So, so this game is uh, similar to Metroid. Uh, in the sense that you basically have like an open world uh, that's divided into different sections and in order to progress through the game you're going to have to basically explore each section find items in the section that will allow you to advance to future sections so uh, there's two types of modes there's this side scrolling mode right here and then you can get out of the tank and um, enter these uh, smaller rooms like you see one right there over to the left right there um, and you can explore them, and in those smaller rooms is where you'll find a boss monster for each of the areas. And the boss guards the item that you need to progress uh, further into the game. So, for the first area, we got to uh, get past this thing right here, this uh, monster. That goes to area 2, but our uh, bullets can't hurt that monster right now. So we're going to have to get a shot upgrade, and we get that from the first boss monster. And the first boss monster is over on the, this way here. So this game is pretty, pretty large. Um, a lot of people criticize it because it doesn't have a password or a save system. Uh, so you basically have to beat it in uh, one go. Uh, if you don't know where you're going, it's going to take a long time to beat the game. Uh, it's even going to take a while just to beat uh, with uh, knowing where to go and uh, just avoiding a lot of the uh, dead ends. Because there's a lot of these uh, rooms, and most of them don't lead to anywhere. You really only have to find the one that has the boss. And you see, we press select, that gets you out of the tank. And then the second type of uh, mode is this like overhead, like Zelda type. So it's kind of like a Metroid and Zelda. So, in this uh, mode, you have uh, a gun, and your uh, gun is your main thing. Uh, it powers up uh, when you get these uh, icons that look like a pistol. However, if you get hit and take damage, you uh, lose. Your gun loses one of its uh, power. Uh, so, uh, gun ain't too, too important. A lot of times what we'll be doing mainly to defeat bosses is instead rely on our grenades, which uh, you uh, release with the A button. Grenades do a lot more damage than your regular shot. A regular shot is just press with the B button. Uh, so, grenades tend to be the, the go-to weapon when you're fighting uh, bosses. There's some cheap ways to fight some bosses, some of the bosses. Uh, similar to the pause trick in Mega Man, uh, Mega Man, the first Mega Man, uh, where if you damage a uh, boss with a grenade and then you pause it while they're taking damage, uh, the damage will keep going on even while the game is paused. So it'll allow you to basically like one-shot bosses, you hit them once and then you pause it and then just hold it pause for a little bit and then uh, eventually the boss will be defeated so but we're not going to abuse that trick uh, we're going to take the bosses on normally so using our grenades so yeah the grenades take out enemies uh, much quicker than the shot which is good against longer uh, tougher enemies like these guys here who take multiple shots to take care of now they're dropping uh, three-way missiles um, your tank has the main shot, but pressing down in B, you have a secondary shot. And there's three secondary shots. There's homing missiles, 
there's a lightning pill that shoots a bolt of lightning straight down from underneath the tank, and then there's the three-way missiles which shoot like a spread shot, uh, one missile straight ahead of you, one uh, upward, and then the other uh, downward. So it's good for taking out some enemies that are small and tiny. Another way you can take care of enemies that are small and tiny are you, you can jump out with Jason. And uh, since he's low to the ground, his pistol will shoot enemies, but it's not as strong as the tank um, shots. So enemies will take uh, longer to defeat. Jason still takes damage when he gets hit, just like the tank does. And he can refill his uh, life by getting the P meters, just like the tank does. But uh, another thing with Jason is, it doesn't matter if he takes a lot of damage outside the tank, because every time you hop back into the tank, you get refilled. So if it takes you a while to defeat an enemy, uh, as long as the enemy doesn't defeat you, it's okay, because as you saw there, I jumped in the tank and I'm instantly healed up. So yeah, it doesn't matter how much damage you take, you can be at your last little ball of life, and uh, Jason will be fully healed. So Sometimes it uh, might be to your advantage to, if you're uh, low on health, maybe to jump out of the tank, defeat an enemy, hopefully get a, a, a P uh, icon, and then uh, jump back in the tank and uh, heal up your tank. So now you see our shots, they've gone from basically like a, a little ball to more like a, a cone. And once we got this shot, uh, we can defeat this wall uh, guardian. And defeating the Wall Guardian takes us into this area here, where we uh, will find the doorway to uh, Area 2. So you press down to enter the area, so here's some smaller enemies. We can't defeat them with a tank, so we can hop out with Jason and just shoot them. We're going to mainly try to rely on maybe shooting them uh, as they're falling down. But, oops, I missed that one there, so... And... Uh, you can also use the three-way missiles, because uh, the missile that goes down, that missile will uh, hit the little tiny guys. As you can see, your tank, uh, it can shoot uh, three different ways. It can shoot left, right, and then you can press up, and your tank will shoot up. Uh, you can use that to defeat some enemies, as they're some of the smaller enemies, as they fall off ledges. Most of the enemy uh, AI is uh, just aggressive. The enemy will basically home in on you and try to... Uh, hit you. So if there's like one of those small enemies above you, uh, it's just gonna run off the side of the ledge to try to jump down on you. I feel like how that ball was uh, trying to jump and attack us. You know, try to fly right into us. So you see this, uh, the missiles take out those uh, little slugs. Now we see those, uh, uh, right now we're just passing over it. There's those like weird blocks. Uh, they're going to, they're blocking, uh, blocks like that are blocking the way to area 3. So just like area 1, where we need to get a new shot power to get to area 2, in order to get to area 3, we're going to have to get a new type of shot power for our uh, tank here again. You'll see that once we get that part, uh, our shots will change uh, color. So last time they changed uh, shape, now they'll change color. Just work our way up here. I said this is uh, kind of mazy. But just follow along how I'm going. We're just going to ignore all the, uh, the uh, other areas we can go to uh, other than the, the boss area. So like I said, there's usually uh, each area uh, has maybe about uh, like five or six uh, sub rooms in them, and, but only one of them contains the boss. So we're just basically ignoring all the other ones. We'll eventually go into a slow one later on when we backtrack to uh, area one. We have to backtrack there. Uh, by then, I'm going to want to power start powering up my gun. But the first three bosses, pretty much better taken out with uh, grenades. Uh, basically, you really want the gun for the fifth boss. He's uh, kind of tough to hit with the grenades. So. Go. Heading over this way. And eventually we'll make our way to, like I said, where the boss's area is. In this area here, this uh, this little room that we're going in, we're going to get the second of the sub-weapons. Uh, we're going to get the lightning pill. And like I 
like I said, that shoots a bolt of lightning straight down from underneath the tank. And I'll show that off once I uh, get it. We are down here in this little cubby. We get that little uh, emblem with a lightning bolt on it. That is the lightning. Now to select the lightning, we just have to press the start button. And then we press left or right to highlight that. And then that takes over for our uh, sub weapon. Sub weapon we're just going to use pressing the down and the B button. So, best sub weapons, probably the homing missiles, but they're also the rarest to get. Uh, those lightning pills are spread out. Uh, as you saw, the homing miss, the three-way missiles were dropped by some enemies. Usually, uh, the homing missiles are found in uh, like underneath rocks. See, so as we're walking through this maze, uh, sometimes you'll see like rocks. And so there's a pistol icon. You see, we pick it up, and now our gun uh, just had went up one. Sadly, we can't farm them. Uh, so the only way you can farm them is uh, if you find a, a maze room that has one hidden under a rock. And you can enter that, get that one, leave the room, uh, leave the mate, leave the room entirely, then uh, come back, get it again. Something I notice Jason there is right-handed, so when he's facing down or up, uh, when he's facing down, the bolts will be on. Uh, the left side, and when he's facing up, it'll be on the right side. Uh, so sometimes you gotta have to like, you don't shoot straight ahead of you. See how his uh, his bullets are a little to the right? That's because his gun is in his right hand. Here we have the second boss. He's like a weird like hybrid crab something. He has big claws like a crab. He has like a like a body of a tick or something. We just want to uh, shoot his uh, mouth between the little pincers there. This is one of the bosses that you can shoot a grenade at and then you pause it. Uh, and then the, uh, you'll notice if he keeps flashing while you have the game pause, then uh, he'll be taking damage uh, from the grenade, even though the game is paused. And then you can just hold the pause button for a few seconds, and then the grenade will slowly slap his life down. It doesn't work on all bosses. Uh, it works on this boss, on the level 5 boss, and also on the level uh, 7 boss. So, 2, 5, and 7. 7 is a, kind of a palette swap for this guy. He's a little tougher. I think he has longer uh, claws and he shoots more often. And the, uh, boss 5 is like a bubble type uh, lobster. Really annoying bubbles. Luckily, you can destroy the bubbles with your gun, just like you can destroy the little bubbles that this guy's shooting with your gun. But we just want to mainly dodge back and forth, hit him with the uh, grenade, and then we get our second upgrade for our tank, which is the crusher shot. Now, you notice when I start shooting my uh, tank outside, the main gun, uh, they go from like a, it runs like a, a red cone, it'll be like a, a greenish type cone. So now these uh, shots can destroy those uh, weird looking walls that I mentioned earlier. And that'll take us into area three. Now, uh, right now, uh, you see above we have uh, power right now. Uh, there's a, a bar that says hover above, or a thing that says hover above. Uh, that's what we're gonna get an item when we get the hover mechanic in area three. Uh, and uh, once you get that, enemies will start drop besides dropping P's, will also drop uh, H's, and the H's fill up your hover meter, and then you use your hover meter to fly, basically hover. Uh, now we get into future areas, but we're not gonna go area three yet. Area three is kind of big and long, so we'll save that for our next episode. But luckily, the way the game is, is uh, they, 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 whoever designed it is pretty smart, I guess. Uh, there's some backtracking in the game, but usually when you're going into like a new area, uh, or you're leaving your previous area, uh, they have it kind of set up where it's like it doesn't take you long to get on track. So we had to go all the way around to uh, get to this area, 
But if we would have had the crusher at the beginning, we would have been able to just take like a shortcut right there. But we don't have it. But we do have the crusher now. And we can shoot these lower walls to take us to area three. And that is where we will pick up in our next episode. So take care, have a good one. Thanks for following along. Have a good day. Bye.